This is the continuation of an immigration and miscibility hearing conducted at Vancouver, British Columbia on the 5th of May, 2010. My, My name is Otto Nupinen. I'm a member of the Immigration Division of the Immigration and Refugee Board of Canada. The hearing concerns Jose Luis Figueroa, who is present in, in person. The Minister's counsel is Sandra Turan. Lay counsel appearing for Mr. Figueroa is Carl Keller. We have Claudio Kihin present on a standby basis as a Spanish interpreter. Uh, Mr. Kihin, perhaps you could just confirm that you and Mr. Figueroa do understand each other in Spanish? Yes. Señor Figueroa, ¿usted me comprende con palabra en español? Sí. Yes. So, in the event that your services are required, uh, or Mr. Figueroa, let us know if Mr. Kihin's uh, services are required. Yeah. So, we were to reconvene today for the rendering of my decision in this matter. The admissibility hearing itself was conducted on April 14th and April 29th of this year with uh, evidence and submissions being made at that point. Now there was uh, one uh, small matter which arose in my review of the matters which I wish to address before rendering my decision. Uh, that deals with um, reference made by Minister's Counsel in her reply, specifically uh, Ms. Turan, uh, my notes indicate that in referring to various decisions made by various tribunals, you cited the decision of Member Shaw Dyke. at page 137 of Exhibit C4. Uh, my notes indicate that your submission was that Member Shaw Dyke's decision was based on the same evidence that was presented to this tribunal. Uh, I'm questioning whether you, whether that's correct or whether you need to amend that submission. I was under the impression that I did make, uh, did provide the same uh, disclosure uh, as that provided to this tribunal. Um, she quotes uh, bullets versus, uh, there's a, uh, I don't have uh, any of my documents here, so I just, just prepared to hear it. Yes, decision. she, uh, bye. She did make reference to the bullets versus balance. Yes. That's quite true. Uh, and that's also, and that's part of uh, the minister's evidence in this case as well. Yes. Uh, also the uh, Truth Commission, um, that uh, same evidence uh, that was referenced in her materials also uh, referenced in the material for this decision. Um, That's the, correct. The only thing that was not uh, provided to this tribunal, that was provided in that tribunal, was the uh, prison concerns evidence, which was not, uh, which I did not make available in this hearing. And she refers to, the, to that as well uh, when rendering her decision. Well, Member Shaw Dyke uh, makes mention of certain evidence from James. Uh, I believe and that. And I, I reviewed the documentation here and I, I'm missing it if it is here, I believe. Um, it would, that would be an exhibit uh, in the first uh, uh, booklet. I <coughs> uh, under the uh, should be under the headline terrorist profiles or one of the one of the tabs. If it's not, then I believe in that would that would be the, perhaps the only. Uh, well, well, let's verify. Why don't you look at what one and tell me if it is in there? No, it would be the second booklet, then, volume two. Okay. Uh, perhaps, uh, perhaps you can talk. Yeah, I can. Where? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
it would have been in this booklet. I did not include that. Uh, that document is contained. Well, if, if it's not in the material that was provided, do you wish to make a further comment? Just that that was the only, uh, I guess now, would be the only piece of uh, documentation that uh, that has not been presented in this case, in this hearing. Yes. When rendering that decision. Yes, uh, that appears to be the case. Yes. And in the... Uh, and in that decision, there was also not uh, <coughs> not the various documents uh, that were submitted in this, which further corroborate uh, those the two main um, uh, materials or documentation that uh, Member Shabek uh, based her decision on. Well, I'll, I'll get to the point, Mr. Okay. It appears that you made an incorrect submission to this tribunal. Okay. I'm I was under the impression uh, that when I was saying it, uh, the uh, that the material that had been presented in that uh, tribu uh, that hearing was also presented in this um, tribunal hearing. However, based on the fact that you brought that up, yes, uh, seeing that I did not include the uh, chain documentation in this particular case that was included in that. So yes, I recognize that um, mistake. I was not in any way trying to mislead the tribunal. Okay, so it was an honest mistake that was made. Yes. Uh, I accept that. I was hoping you would apologize to the tribunal for having committed an honest mistake. That's what I was hoping for, Mr. It's, uh, it's a serious matter when an incorrect submission is made. They should not be made. I accept that you made an incorrect decision. My, my hope was that you would apologize to the tribunal for having done that. 